guys, I'm back with another hair related video. I wasn't going to do this video, um, but then I've had lots of questions on YouTube and my DMs asking how long my hair's getting, how, it, how I'm growing with it, what am I doing, what am I using. Uh, so I thought I'd come on and answer all your questions, show you the length of my hair and talk through what I've been doing and how the last sort of 18 months has been now that I'm done with growing out my pixie cut. So it's weird, like now my hair's longer again. So it's basically, I should have worn this top really, it's kind of here, it's just sitting on my shoulders. Um, I put it in the center part for you just to show you that it's all one length. I never really wear it like this, I quite like it, but I usually put it to one side, but I thought for the purposes of this video, it would be good to show you. So yeah, my hair is kind of this length. Now, when I did my last, well, last Christmas, let's say, I was doing a video saying, oh, I want for Christmas is a bob, will I get a bob? Now, this time last year, my hair was like my longest, my well, my second longest layer was here, and I had like a little mullet bit here. So it doesn't look like it's grown a lot, but when you look back at my video in January where I had my hair cut into a bob, my hair was literally here, like it was sitting on my jawline. So in since well since January it's kind of grown this much. Now in this time I've had two trims um, at a professional hairdresser. This didn't take much off, but I'm quite pleased with the way it's grown out and it's now a proper bob. There is no doubt about it, and it's getting to the stage now where I'm like, do I want to keep it all one length still? Do I want to put some a fringe into it? Like what am I going to do next? It's that kind of stage where I'm actually excited about it. So what have I been doing? Um, nothing too crazy. So at the very beginning, you might remember that I was using hair burst and I was using all these different methods to let my hair grow and blah, 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 blah. I've cut all of that out now. I'm just leaving my hair to do its thing. It's healthy. It's good. All those things I felt worked at the time for me. I stopped taking hair burst in, I want to say June, July. Um, once my hair was a proper bob and it had grown out enough that I didn't need to buy anymore. I'd used all the ones that I'd bought because I just remember I was getting three for twos, for Holland and Barrett and stuff like that. Um, so I used up everything I had and then I stopped taking it. So when I took hair burst initially, it did break me out. The biotin was quite high, um, but it leveled out within a few weeks. Once I stopped taking it, I didn't get any side effects, I didn't get any bad skin, nothing bad happened, nothing. So um, it was all good. I just stopped taking hair burst. I didn't notice my hair grew any faster or slower or anything. So I feel like hair burst may have worked, maybe not. I don't know. I'm, my hairdresser at the time said my hair was growing a lot faster than it usually would or that uh, compared to other people. So who knows it worked for me at the time it was good for my mental health state thinking about how long it was going to take for me to grow my hair out so i was thinking if i was taking these tablets every day it would help so that helped me get through it so whatever helps you get through it do it now what i'm doing at the moment is i'm using um just my usual shampoo and conditioner so nothing crazy i haven't got them to show you because it's just shampoo and conditioner um, you can use obviously any ones that suit your hair type i'm currently using the percy and reed shine shampoo and conditioner they're great my hair is shiny it's healthy so that's fantastic after i've washed my hair i only wash my hair two to three times a week so after i've washed my hair i use a leave-in conditioner i am still using the lee stafford hair growth leave-in conditioner this says it's got pro growth complex um, and a shot of caffeine for moisture and protein boost for hair that never grows beyond a certain length. Now, like I say, I'm not growing my hair at any particular rate, but anything that gives moisture and protein to the hair, I'm like, yep, that's great. I want my hair to grow healthier, so that kind of is that in a bottle. Uh, I put this in my roots every time I wash my hair, so I've been using that now for about 18 months. I really love it. I did try the shampoo. I've still got that on the go. I use it once or twice a week. I don't like it. Um, I feel like you need a lot to get your hair lathered up and get it clean. Same with the hair mask. I used that, but I didn't see any dramatic hair growth. It didn't make my hair feel much better. I just didn't really like it. And I thought if I'm gonna use a hair mask, I want it to be really good. So this was the best out of the range for me. So I've stuck with this. 
and after I've put that in, I like to put some stuff on the, on the ends just to keep it healthy. Again, Lee Stafford, I'm using the Moroccan Argan Oil Lotion. Uh, you can see that I've used a fair bit there and I use one pump of this just through the ends of my hair. And this is a um, moisture rich leave in hair lotion that transforms de dry dehydrated hair. My hair is not dry or dehydrated, but I figure any argan oil type stuff in the hair is good. I don't put it in the roots because like I say, I don't want it to be greasy. My hair's really fine, but that works well for me. So that's the argan oil, Lee Stafford. I think currently they're three for two in boots. So you could get this and this and something else for free at the same value. And I think they're around the same price. They're like 12 quid each. So then when I blow dried my hair, as you know, I use the Dyson Supersonic or the Dyson Airwrap. They're the only heating products I use on my hair because they use airflow as opposed to heat to dry and style your hair. So my hair is probably healthier because of that. So once I've done that, um, I use the two brushes that I use currently is the Aveda paddle brush, which is meant to be good for stopping hair fall it's good for like knots and things it doesn't damage your hair i've only got the mini one because my hair's not very long but uh, i got it from my local hair salon it was like 16 quid love this hairbrush when i had long hair before years ago i had the big one so i will get that at some point and i got this ball hair paddle brush uh, round brush from amazon um i did have one of those ones with the heated ceramic cylinder in the middle. I got rid of it because it was getting a bit manky and horrible and I saw this had five star reviews on Amazon so I was like bing get that. So that's what I use to blow dry my hair. After I've done that I use a texturizing spray, a dry texturizing spray. This is the Batiste stylist one. Very sadly it's been discontinued. I did stock up and I bought about 10 of these not even exaggerating so I've got a fair few to keep me going I will find another one after this these are sadly gone that one's nearly gone but basically I just lift my hair up spray it underneath all the way around and then just get your hands and just like zhuzh from underneath gives you hair volume a bit of grit makes it look less like it's just been washed and a bit kind of what's the word um like sort of sexy bed hair type look that's what I'm going for um, once or twice a week I like to do a hair conditioning treatment um, so I've been using this one I need both hands to get it to you because it's bloody ginormous it's the Philip Kingsley elasticizer and this is the um, uh, deep conditioning treatment it's a pre shampoo treatment so I use this overnight usually once or twice a week whenever I'm gonna wash my hair the next day and the reason I don't use it in the shower <clears throat> is because I tell you you have to leave it on for a minimum of 20 minutes so what I do when I apply this I have an empty one of these I've just fill it with water and I sort of wet my hair all at the bottom uh, I wet from like here down and then I slap two big pumps of that in my hands run it through and then whatever's left on my hands I put through the roots um, I sort of put it into like a little bun thing and then I put a disposable shower cap over the top I bought some disposable shower caps from uh, eBay like 20 for two quid or something and one of those lasts me like four or five applications of that till it starts to get gross and I chuck it in the bin. Um, but then I use that on the hair to like keep the heat in so it penetrates into the hair for like 45 minutes. Then I take it down and just leave it to dry, do its thing and overnight I sleep in my satin sleep cap. It's very sexy, very attractive. But look how shiny. My hair's really healthy because of it so I don't care. The elasticizer is built to make your hair more elastic, more stretchy, so it's less prone to falling out, it's less prone to snapping when you're blow drying it. And with this kind of brush, it gets really good tension as you're pulling it down, so you need that extra stretch. It helps your hair grow um, healthier. I get these from QVC. This is a litre size, it's bigger than my head. This will last me at least a year, at least, and it was 60 quid. So that to me is one haircut. Now, not being funny, when I had a pixie cut, I was um, cutting my hair every five to six weeks, and it was costing me 55 pound a time. So that to me is one haircut, and um, I don't get my hair cut now sort of every four to five months. So to me, it's worth the investment. And you think about if you bought um, one tub, 
of a good hair mask from like a salon or from boots or something it's gonna be at like 10 quid anyway so you get three or four of them a year it's the same as that so I'd rather have that than you know all that stuff um, one of the questions I got asked on YouTube was uh, do I regret growing my hair or do I regret cutting it as well I don't regret cutting it I had my hair short for a long time I had one haircut when I went to a different hairdresser and he cut it too short and that was when I was like do you know what screw it I've had short hair for two years I'm just gonna grow it out and that was fine I would have short hair again in the future I really like a pixie cut on me I think it suits me um, and I'm the sort of person that's not too precious about my hair like I love having healthy longer hair now but at some point I get bored and I will just go to the hairdresser and chop it all off I know that I will so I'm not gonna get too like attached if you like but I'm gonna keep growing it for now because I want it to sort of be about here I think by the summertime I can get it to there so I'm gonna keep going with it I'm gonna keep it all one length I think um, I was thinking about having a different color put on in the new year maybe a balayage or something to keep it fresh and to just so I don't want to chop it all off make it look a bit different um, but yeah, bottom line is, if you're growing out a pixie cut, if you're thinking about growing out a pixie cut, do it. This has taken me from uh, from March 2018 to now, and my hair is a pixie crop. Go back over my old videos, see how short it was um, in 2018. It sounds like a long time, but once you start growing it and you start you know seeing progress and you keep pushing on and you keep getting it trimmed and stuff you will see a difference really 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 quickly i think i could safely say that i went from a pixie crop to a long pixie in like six months to a haircut that i had before i cut it it was super annoying to be six months behind but it only took six months and from then it was kind of just growing it out once i got to the point where i was going to get a bob my mullet was out of control and um all that stuff but the feeling of having hair all one length was amazing. So I really, really recommend that you just go for it and just think, do you know what? And there will be times where you want to chop it off. There will be times where you want to um, go back to having short hair because growing it out isn't cute, it doesn't look good. But we're always going to have stages where we don't look good, whether it's our hair, weight, skin, makeup whatever so just ride the wave it will get better and soon you will have nice long hair and you will have much more freedom to do what you want with it i've had my hair straight today this is the first time i've seen it straight in like a month i've had a curly hair every single day i've been using my dyson air wrap you know with the and um i've made been having fun with the curly hair and having a bit more volume and stuff this looks really flat now to me uh but you know it's lovely hair it grows back and uh, I recommend growing it. If you get to a certain point and you hate it, just think in a couple of weeks that point will go because short hair grows much faster. So, words of wisdom from me. Um, but yeah, thanks for asking all the questions. Thanks for still thinking of me. Thanks for being interested. I didn't think my hair would be of interest to anyone, but um, thanks for everything and if you want to see more of my hair stuff, go to my Instagram, just nail the day. And I have, um, my own hashtag on there cat's pixie update and basically or no sorry cat's pixie grow out i always do that cat's pixie grow out and basically it's um all of my videos and photos from my grow out so go on there have a little look and if you have any questions feel free to message me leave comments below i will answer them as and when i can so thanks again and have a lovely christmas and i will see you soon